So welcome to part two of the iPhone SDK SQLite series. Before we get started, let me just um, review as to what we uh, put in our database last time. So I renamed the database file to tutorial.sql for, um, for compatibility reasons. Um, iPhone SDK seems to like uh, .sql extension a little bit better than .db so you do your SQL SQLite 3 command in the terminal and then let's just do a dot .dump and see what we have in here we have a table name names um, with ID that auto increments and a name field that's uh, of type text we have two rows with um, ID value 1 we have John and then ID value 2 we have Peter and that's it so I'm going to exit um, if we come into our uh, um, project that we created last, I have added some so two files. It's an Objective C SQLite wrapper. It's well worth it. Um, it, it just basically uh, turns the pl plain C AP, um, SQLite API into Objective C, and it really helps a lot. So it can be downloaded at this link. Um, using either of these two links, you can find these two classes within the project. These are both sample projects, basically, and you just find the classes within there. I'll put the, that link in the description box. Um, so add those to your classes folder. Make sure to um, go get info and change the um, file extension to .sql for your database. And before we get started, let me just... Um, say that in order for your application to actually write to a database, which I'll be demonstrating probably in a part 3 tutorial, um, you have to copy the database file into your documents directory at runtime, and that can be done in the app delegate. Um, but I will not be showing that in this tutorial. We're just going to be reading data off of this database, which does not require um, moving it to the documents directory um, within our application, we can just use it directly from the resources folder. So go ahead and go into your view controller um, file. And by the way, in this tutorial, we're not going to be um, outputting onto a table view or anything. Um, I mean, you all should know by now how to work with the table view, so I'm not going to spend the time, the extra time to try to implement a table view. We're just going to be outputting those values into the run console using the nslog function, um, which I'm sure all of you are very uh, familiar with. So to start off in our .h file of the view controller, we need to import um, sqlite.h and then we need to define an ivar sqlite database. So that's going to be our database file, just so we can keep, we can we can store what our database is um, from from method to method. And then we now have to get um, the path to our database file by doing the uh, ns bundle main bundle resource path. And then and then also we need to. Um, String by appending path component. That's what we need. And of course, it's going to be our database file name, which is uh, minus tutorial dot sql. And the brackets. So now we can, we need to initialize the SQLite Objective C wrapper by doing the SQLite alloc in it. Okay, and then we need to do database. We need to use the open method, and then pass in the mydb. So that's just the we just for the open method we just pass the the um, path to, to our database file, and then now uh, we can actually start doing some queries. Now this this um, we're going to be running this function called database execute query. Um, which means that it's going to return an ns array of ns dictionaries. Um, so an ns array for each each row, and then 
or like the NS array contains all the rows, and each row is a dictionary. So, um, so that we get use the um, the column name within our database as the the key value to get the stuff, and then and then also there's a func method within this class called execute non query, and that's for doing stuff that doesn't have any return value per se, like um, update, delete, insert, pretty much anything that's not select. So um, we need to create in this array because we're going to be doing a select statement, means which means that we're we need a return value in order to work with that data in this array. I'm just going to call it results equals um, database execute query, and uh, and then here you just pass in a string, which is the um, the actual structured query language. Select all columns from names semicolon, and then and the brackets now to output all this into um, the uh, log. We're just gonna do for ns dictionary row in results. Um, let's go ahead and ns log. So we're getting for each um, element within the results array, get the ns dictionary and assign it to the variable row. So now we can use that to. Um, get the value for key and one of our key, our column names was name so I'm gonna output for each result we're gonna output its name or the name field so let's see if that works I'm gonna build and run and open the run console because there's nothing gonna be nothing's gonna be happening on our actual interface so hopefully and there we go we got John and Peter which is what we have in our database. So that's just the basics to um, to grabbing results within the, the uh, SQLite database. Um, the SQLite tutorial series is kind of going to be an ongoing thing because um, I really like SQL. Um, I'm a web developer and do a lot of my SQL so you know using SQL in the um, and the iPhone SDK is really cool, and hopefully I can go into more depth and stuff. And um, but this is just kind of the f you know first tutorial where we actually get into writing code to um, query everything. So I'll be posting the link to this this nice Objective C wrapper in the um, the description box. Thanks for watching, and uh, tune in for the next uh, 